If you head out on a spring hike, you might see what looks like pink snow. It's actually a bloom of algae that is not toxic, but makes glaciers melt more quickly. Erica Zuko with our Environment Northwest team joined researchers working to learn more about this colorful snow and how climate change is impacting it. You should bring the microscope out. In this roadside van near the Mount Baker ski area in the North Cascades, That's a good one. researchers have rigged up a custom field lab to test samples of snow algae, best known as pink snow. It's almost at 0 0.004, so like they're happy now. We're measuring photosynthesis because people want to know whether snow algae blooms are getting worse because of climate change. Climate change means warming temperatures, which melt glaciers faster. That endangers reservoirs the Northwest relies on. I am seeing an individual algae cell, and this guy is swimming. Dark colored algae like these accelerate glacier melt because they're dark in color and absorb more sunlight. Partly because of their bright red pigments, they act as sunscreen, and that's also what makes them red or pink. Yeah, it's so small. But we don't know how much they'll really play a role in the years to come until we understand the species themselves. So you can see these patches are like fairly small. That's why Western Washington University researchers are searching this lake for signs of the algae. Here at Picture Lake, late spring snow has covered up some of the blooms. But if you just remove some of the white snow on top, you can begin to see the pink snow underneath. And we're just going to scoop what looks the pinkest. With Living Snow Project, volunteers across the globe also send in samples, scooping up snow using gloves and a free testing kit. And they're asking more people to get involved. You can honestly find snow algae on the side of the road. Like you don't have to be an intense outdoors person to participate. The goal is to use the snow they sample at locations like this one to better understand how patches interact with the entire ecosystem living in snow. So this patch right here is really red where a patch over here might be not as red. By measuring its photosynthesis rates, what we can do is understand a little bit about how the biology is allowing it live in the snow in these light conditions and make a lot of biomass because the more biomass that it makes and the darker the um, algae bloom is on the snow, the more it will melt the snowpack. So we're checking to see what stage these guys are in as well. Once they built up years, then decades of data, they can begin to discuss what the future may hold. What we want to understand is how all of those different factors affect the biology, affect the photosynthesis, and affect the extent of blooming so that we can make predictions about how these blooms will respond um, in the future. Until then, they hope more people will keep an eye out for pink and report it, a way anyone can do research on the road. For Environment Northwest, I'm Erica Zuko. And to learn more about how you can get involved in researching pink snow, just text the word pink to 206-448-4545 and we'll send you that information.